Okay, uh, I thought I'd give you an introduction on how I use the aqua markers. Uh, that's what you can see in front of you. These are the colours I'm going to be using to do a blurry background of some sort of green leaves and stuff. I'm going to try and work wet into wet, which means once I start adding the water, I won't be too worried about edges and stuff like that. I'm just going to let the water flood around, you know, wash the colours about so it gives it that blurry edge. Those are the markers I'm going to be using. And also using this, which is a Galleria acrylic brush, a little bit tougher, a little bit better for actually washing and moving the marker colors about. So I'm going to lay down the color first of all, and then I'm going to start adding the water. Okay, I'm going to add the water now. Um, basically, I'm just going to look to move it around, wash it around a bit, and uh, try not to have any hard edges. Everything should sort of blend across. So I'm going to use quite a bit of water to be doing this. It's a good round brush that I'm using. It's got a nice uh, pointed tip, which means it can be broad but it can also get in these little nooks and crannies, get in these little bits, breaking it down a little bit. Now there's a bit of a vein in the middle of this leaf, so I want to make sure I get that. So I'll probably leave a fair amount of white, yeah, like that in the middle, still delicate, as delicate as I can make it, but so that it's still going to look like it is the vein running through the middle, just dot it a little bit, break it up. Oh, look at that run, loving it. I ended up with a slightly harder edge to that leaf than I wanted, but it might look alright in the scheme of things. And that's pretty much it done. Let me pull the camera back a bit so you can get better view. 